gonna be so good. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. I hope everyone is still practicing their social distancing, washing your hands, not injecting yourself with disinfectant. I pray you're not doing that. So if you haven't already heard of him, and I can't imagine how you wouldn't, James Charles, the iconic James Charles, has his own show now, you guys. And you know what that means. We're gonna react to it. Now, he brought in a lot of like lower level influencers. When I say lower level, I mean like, like the 30,000 follower on Instagram levels. Like no one on the show is like verified. No one on the show has like 200, 300, 400,000 followers or anything like that. They're not, they're not, they're not up there but they're good, they're all very popular. There's already been a few like issues with the show. A lot of people complain that there wasn't a lot of diversity, as you can see. And they picked three girls and three boys, so you know, hooray for that. I hope you guys stick with me during this series. We're, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna talk a little makeup. Let's let's jump right into it. Let's 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 do it. I'm I'm excited. All right, so the show is 42 minutes. Um, don't really want to watch all that, but I guess we're gonna have to. So let's get started. We're officially one of the six people on the show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so hysterical right now. Congratulations, sister. You've made it. Oh my God. Are you serious? Oh, why are you crying? Hey, oh my God. <laughs> because I'm gonna be on a show where millions of people can see me regardless if I win. That's why I'm crying, James. But in the end, only one can become an instant influencer. My name is Christian Perez. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Los Angeles, California. Hi, I'm Gabriel Dreams. I am 21 years old and I currently reside in Los Angeles, California. Growing up in foster care, I didn't have the best childhood, but through my art is me reconnecting with my inner child. Come but I've noticed that everyone has like a little backstory, their adversity, you know, um, which most reality shows like this, you know, they always be like, say something sad that happened to you. And then, you know, they say something sad. Hello you guys, and welcome to the first ever episode of Instant Influencer. He is happy, he is happy as hell to be on this show. <laughs> Lights! Oh my, oh my god! When I called you guys to tell you that you made the show, we actually gave you your first compact challenge. I need you to come on the first day of filming with a makeup look on that tells us who you are as an artist. A picture of Japanese cherry blossoms and a scenery with mountains on my forehead. Tell me about your look today. Well, this represents me as an artist. Okay. Uh I wanted to see your personal journey and how that connects to you more as an artist. He about to go home. <laughs> he fucked up on the first challenge. He, he didn't even say he ain't mother nature. He ain't, he, ain't the, he ain't the world. He ain't the earth. I am so intrigued by what is going on. He looked like a transformer. I don't care what nobody say. He looked like Optimus Prime. Oh my God, whoa! I take back what I said. He looked good. <laughs> I have like gone through so much in my life and I've just been a very like vivacious person no, through, I feel and like I, I want to also encourage people. Disruptive, and I'm in. fun, and I'm loud. They did her so dirty. They just making it seem like she just babbling and babbling. Like they even put like the little ticking in the same in the background. <laughs> like that's so. Hi Ashley. Hi James. Uh, before she gives her reasoning about why she looks like there's mud all over her face. It looks like there's mud all over her face. Brittany! Hi! So I was that one girl that everybody would whisper about, saying, oh, she wears too much makeup, she looks like a clown. So her struggle was that she was bullied. You would think that was a good thing, that people said that about you, because look at you now. One person in particular blew me away. I think it's going to be either Decepticon or Inkblot. It made sense as far as, like, their own growth personal journey, blah, 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 blah. So I, I'm going for them, I'm going for them. Ashley, congratulations, you are the winner of the first Compact Challenge. Oh my, yes! Ashley, as the winner of today's Compact Challenge, you get to make your first selection in Ulta Beauty Closet. Bye guys. Bye! Bye <laughs> She just dipped off on them. Hey guys, AVLN here. I'm editing and I just realized that I didn't really explain what was going on in this part of the episode. So for the elimination round, James had each of the MUAs uh, create a product video. So they had to go into this room of like, 
okay that was weird they had to go into this room of like different makeup products and choose one thing to shoot a, a product video for and they also had to edit it themselves and they only got a period of three hours to do so so that's what they're doing let's continue with the video These video labs are fabulous, first of all. I'm pumped at how professional the setup is. I've never done a product reveal video before. Three hours seems like a lot of time, but once you start working and rushing, it is no time at all. Or get snatched and get a man after this. Ooh, get snatched, get a man, heard you. I grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation because my skin is stained pink from the first challenge. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a video all about my favorite highlight, which is from Oprah. I know this is a risk using James's Morphe palette, but I think this risk is going to pay off. You guys, today we are doing a look with literally one single... Wait, <laughs> I got my words. I take so many takes. Boys and girls, welcome to today. Okay, I can, I can, I can do this. I can do this. I love how there's like a camera guy on the side, like just filming her, like just like freak out to herself. He's just like, the fuck? What are you talking about? She looked at the camera and was like, I can do this. Like she's trying to convince everybody in the studio that like she can stop talking. I can I can do this. I can do this. I'm the first one out of the room to go edit, and I'm super excited. This is exactly what I wanted to prove to James. So I'm actually super impressed by this because when I personally edit, if I have like a 10 to 15 minute video, that's usually around 8 to 12 hours of editing. So kudos to her for having like an entire makeup look done and filmed in like an hour and a half and then still having an hour and a half to edit said makeup look. A lot of footage, Gabriel. What were you thinking? I was really hoping that I would have like an hour and a half to edit, but at this point, I have no idea how many narrow. It took her two and a half hours. To make a product video on a beauty blender. Sis, I, I already know that she ain't the one. She not the instant influencer. I'm so nervous right now. Five, four, three, two, one. We're done. I want to quickly introduce you guys to our guest judge. Legend, she's the president and creative director of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Please welcome Norvina and totally hot Paris Hilton. I love how she has that dog sitting on the counter. Oh my God. Oh, oh God, why does the dog look like that? <laughs> the, the dog's at the camera. All right, Benny, let's go ahead and take a look at your commercial. And I'm going to go in with the brush, and I'm just going to take it and kind of get my contour. If that's how you do contour, I'm learning so much, because I don't know, I don't, I don't know about makeup. Everyone, okay, so I just did the rest of my makeup off camera, and now I'm back. I'm sorry, he looks like a clown. It just looks like a clown to me. I, that, I might be, I might be uncultured because I don't know nothing about makeup, but that's, that's not a cute look. And I love that you say sis because sis over here always says it and I just, I love that. <laughs> hey guys, so today I'm filming a very exciting video. I'm gonna be telling you guys all about my favorite highlight from Ofra. So I'm just gonna use my M510 from Morphe. I was hoping that James would see me finishing in two hours with one hour to spare as a good thing. When I start my foundation with this sponge, I like to focus on the perimeter of my face. Oh my gosh, you guys, if that isn't a snatch base, I don't know what is. Cream contour, powder, highlighter, eyeshadow, literally everything was done with this Real Techniques Beauty Spot. I just knew she wasn't gonna do nothing. The way she was freaking out and talking and, and, and like trying to convince the camera she could do this, you know? I, she actually has had the best commercial I feel like so far. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Are you okay? You're yeah, good? yeah. Before I even get anything, this I've noticed this is a common theme with you. You are not very confident. But now you're here, okay? You killed it this morning and you killed it again. Oh, oh you can see that lip quivering. Like she, she's trying so hard not to cry. So yeah. let's get it together. I actually don't know how to do contour, but I felt after watching the video, I learned. Okay, maybe they're not showing the full video because she ain't teach me shit about contour. Hey dreamers, welcome back to my channel and today is something very special. Are you guys ready for the reveal? <laughs> Taking the brightest color of the blue. Not that face that she made. She gave him the stank face like... Uh. 
I love that you call everyone dreamers. I think it's important to have- Okay. Paris Hilton ain't gave not one useful critique. Everything she says is like, okay, so one, I love the fact that you call them people because we're all people, right? And then they're like, yes, because I just want everyone to know that I'm a person. And then they're just like, okay, next person. She, she ain't said not one helpful tidbit. I, now she, uh, I love that you call them dreamers because we all have dreams and that's hot. <laughs> what? Hey guys, it's your girl Strash Me. I am bursting with excitement because I get to announce to you I'm coming out with my very own mascara in a safe and voluptuous way. Well, I thought it was voluptuous. Did she say volump? Like lump? Like you got a lump on your ass? Okay. Sorry. Grammar police here. <laughs> I've never worn blue mascara before, but now I'm gonna try it out. She lying. She lying like hell. My name is Indigo, and today I'm going to be showing you the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blue. Oh, he picked the Anastasia Beverly Hills product with Anastasia Beverly Hills there. Oh, it's getting good. Now, as you can see, this foundation is honestly so full cool coverage. <laughs> the dog is killing me. Lord Jesus, somebody need to pray for that dog. I, I'm worried. He, he does not look comfortable. I got rid of my under eye, which I didn't sleep at all last night. I love how you described the foundation. I... What else would he do? He's there to sell a product. So after the first challenge, the judges go and deliberate. They decide that the top three looks were Christian, Kaylin, and Ashley. They felt like they were the most polished. They were the most professional. Personality, it was very well put together. And then in the bottom three, they had Benny, Brittany, and Gabriel. Nor I know Norvina for a lot of people said that she felt like they didn't explain what the product was. And she really didn't like Gabriel's editing. Um, she even made a face while he was doing his thing. All right, guys, judges' decisions are in. Let's head back to our video labs to find out who will be continuing in the competition and who's going home. If I go home today, I would feel like a failure. I really just don't want to go home. Hi, Brett. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait. No way, why ain't got her look? She, the way she looked back at the camera, like, this is the face of somebody who's going home. That, that's really messed up, y'all. I feel so bad. All right, so that's that. Brittany is gone. And they're left five. So you know how, like, every reality show has, like, a little, like, transition scene where the person who's eliminated, like, their picture goes dark or they have to hang up their apron, whatever. Tyra doesn't hand you your photo. But with this, it's so messed up because after they tell you, you know, like, you're not gonna win the $50,000, you're not gonna be an instant influencer, you have to, like, sign off while you're crying and be like, oh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Like, she is clearly in tears. And he's just like, all right, guys. Thanks for watching this week's video. Like, <laughs> that's just so f***ed up. That's so messed up. They did not even give her a moment to get herself together. I actually really like this show, you guys. I really got into it the more that I watched it. So I'm excited to see what next week is going to bring. If you enjoyed watching this video and you enjoyed watching me review the series, make sure to tune in next week when I review episode two of Instant Influencer. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe and share. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing at this point. You should be subscribed. If you do end up subscribing, make sure you hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button. YouTube does not always let you guys know what I post. So I would hate for you to miss anything, especially this series. Thank you guys for watching. You stay tight and I'll catch you another late night. Bye. Did you like?